Friends in Christ, greeting once again in the heart of Advent. May the grace of this season, hope, peace, joy, and anticipation be with you and, and with all of us. As we come together, we are still walking by faith, truly, during these times of uncertainty. And yet, we walk by faith. And because of that, we know always that the Lord is near and that we can have the confidence that we are in God's hands. We have made the decision after uh, much consideration and prayer and conversation to continue forward with our masses uh, in our churches, in some instances in halls that are larger, or in cars in our parking lot. But we believe, even though other churches have curtailed or suspended their services, that our protocols, which have been in place since May, have been very effective. We do not believe that we're contributing through our church congregations to the surge in the virus infections. We have been following again what I think is the wisdom, not only in our churches, but in our society. So I remind you again, we, we don't want to lose this opportunity. Please abide by the protocols, sanitizing, wearing of the mask, separation by family or by individuals, communion in the hand and not in the tongue, no choirs, canter for sure, and you know, encouraging Catholic congregations not to sing uh, is not what we want to be saying normally, but under these conditions, if you're going to sing underneath your masks, do so quietly and even hum, you know, because these hymns are so beautiful in Advent and especially then in Christmas. I regret that our celebrations of faith and fiestas cannot take place with Our Lady of Guadalupe because when we gather and we celebrate, it's easy to let down our guard, and the virus never takes a day off. So we have to sacrifice in the present with many of the activities that have been suspended, not only in the Hispanic community, but also in our communities throughout the diocese, that this sacrifice will help to prepare for a brighter future. Also, because we are suspending a number of normal activities in the Advent Christmas season, I encourage our, our pastors and priests, our parish leadership, to provide for more opportunities for reconciliation. This sacrament can be a real gift for people, emotionally and spiritually, uh, an opportunity to know the peace of this season, the hope of this season, and to be anchored in the Lord uh, in, in this very, very graced way. So continue to walk the path of faith, and we pray by God's grace that our holy longing for the Lord's coming will truly scatter the darkness that we are experiencing, and certainly we all pray for one another's families, our parish communities, our schools, and all our ministries, that we can remain faithful to the Lord and hopeful uh, that, again, we are with God always and the blessings of this season truly are beyond measure. God bless you.